What's going on everybody? My name is Jason and I make posters. This video is for all of my fellow shoegazers out there. So a little over a month ago, I saw the band Stargazer Lilies in concert. Uh, it was my first shoegaze show that I've actually been to. Not a lot of my shoegaze bands actually come to Nashville. So whenever anyone comes in, I try to go see them. But um, my favorite album by them is Door to the Sun. Uh, so I, I was actually able to uh, meet the band and get this uh, signed and that was pretty awesome. They were all really nice. Um, anyway, so there is a concert poster for that particular concert. Um, although they weren't selling them, you really couldn't get your hands on one. Um, so um, I, I actually just decided that I was gonna make my own. So I wanted to save it for this video and this is where I'm just getting around to doing it. So what was really cool about the show is a lot of psychedelics, a lot of really cool imagery. They had this sheet behind them and it was projecting all of this imagery that was just going perfectly with the loudness. It was it was insanely loud. I actually had some, uh, some earplugs and even then it was crazy loud but you know that's the whole point of that's the whole point of the genre right but um it was uh it was just an awesome show uh really really great visual so i want to try to capture that um and um i have a couple of ideas but i'm just going to play around with some stuff and just see how it goes before we get started please remember to hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content all right now let's head over to illustrator all right so i'm here in illustrator and i found this image right here on unsplash and um, i actually really do like that image i'm probably going to either use this or do something with it um, as far as applying effects to it in Photoshop. And I may change the colors up a little bit, but I'm really just going to kind of improvise and see how things go. So before we start working with any imagery, let me go ahead and lay down some text. Here's the actual concert poster that was used at the venue itself. Um, like I said, they had, these, uh, they had a couple of these hanging up around the venue, but they weren't selling them. So I really like what they're doing right here in this poster, how they've got the eyes right here. And it's very much like representative of what the show was like. It's just kind of taking in all of this with your eyes. It's very psychedelic and everything while listening to the music, you know, which is kind of symbolized right here in these little lines right here. So I like what they're doing right here. So typically with concert posters, at least vintage ones, you would actually see some stars right here on the sides, but I may actually put some eyes right there. So I'm gonna experiment with that and see how I like it. So that's pretty cool. I uh, actually just had the idea, what if I did a line of them right here? So we'll just use our blending to accomplish that. You know, just do kind of like a line of eyes instead of just the two. Not that you necessarily have to take up space, but you know, just, just something to kind of add a little bit to the visual. All right, so I'm gonna group everything here together. And I think that I'll probably reduce our line height a little bit. Maybe try this or actually, yeah, that looks, that looks better. <clears throat> okay, so now here, um, I have this at 18 by 24, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to do 18 by 27 just to give ourselves a little bit more vertical space. And I try to, I try to stick with fairly common sizes. Um, you know, that way in case, uh, in case I ever decide to get it uh, to get any of the posters printed, I can easily get it printed. But what we need to do here is, but there's not there's not too much text left. You know, I definitely want to include the opening acts, um, the venue, and and a little bit of information here. Um, but you know, I I want to make sure that the visual, um, you know, that the visual element, that image right there, has as much room as possible to play with. And this is actually a little tip that I want to share with you. So let me go back to setting this to normal text 
reset that baseline real quick. So whenever I have something like this where I want, you know, like a word to be smaller than the, than the rest of the type, instead of just trying to figure out like, oh, what size should I make it? I always just click on uh, superscript right here and then just bring it down, bring the baseline down. Um, you know, in this case, it, it happens to be 20, uh, 20 points. So, and then just do the same thing with that ampersand. All right, so we have all of the text down, so I'm gonna remove this box right here and then maybe back it down by half an inch or maybe even, yeah, you can do that, a quarter inch. Just wanna get as much space as possible for this image. And then we'll bring this down here and then we'll do the same thing. And I think that what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the, the background black, make sure it's a black poster and that we will go in and invert. Actually, we can just do that in Photoshop, can't we? All right, so let me grab all of this. I'm gonna drag and dra I'm gonna copy and paste this into Photoshop so we can uh, keep moving forward there. All right, so I have everything copied and pasted into Photoshop, and now I'm gonna go back into Illustrator and grab these little sections one by one. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is so I can go back in and get these placed exactly where they need to be because I need that black box to be placed on its own because that's where that image is going. So let's go grab the rest of these guys right here. Photoshop. And now we can get rid of our original structure. And actually our black box is, is sitting a little bit too high or a little too low, sorry. Looks like, so let's get that where it needs to be. Looking good, all right. And now should be able to invert everything. Yep, very cool. <clears throat> and it actually makes those eyes uh, look even cooler. All right, so now I need to go grab that image that I found on Unsplash. I like to just grab it directly from here. And I love I love this image already because it already has that grain built into it. I don't really have to do a whole lot of stuff there. And I also like how this is inverted. Uh, right here, you know, like I was saying earlier that I might actually do some playing around with the colors uh, I may only have to do a few adjustments, but this is looking really cool. I Like just the you know, just the simple uh, the simple imagery there and also I need to go in and We need to do color over uh, we need to do our um, colors on these I need to brighten it up just a little bit so that uh, our effects will show through so I'm gonna do that with each one of these layers. I only have to do it with two layers. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I've also got to expand this. Separate everything. Okay, select same, fill color. Go over here, 10%. And then we'll select those whites in there. Select same, fill color and we'll just kind of darken those whites a little bit. Not that much, we need to make them probably 95%. There we go. Now let's go back into Photoshop. Everything is good now. So whatever effects that we lay on top of this, uh, it'll actually be picked up in those in those soft whites and, and also those, um, uh, those blacks that are not 100% black. So um, let's do this um, for our background. Right here, I'm gonna go up here. Remember, everything is being inverted, so we need to just kind of lighten up that black a little bit. But we do that by lightening, by darkening the white. <laughs> All right, so um, and yeah, everything is uh, backwards right now. So if we wanted to, we could invert uh, this right here, and that is actually looking pretty cool. I don't know which one I like better. Actually, this is more in line with what the show looked like, so I will keep it like this. And one thing to remember, too, like we were uh, talking about earlier with the grain, the grain is already built in here. However, we do have some pixelation happening. So I am going to add, uh, I'm gonna add a grain layer on the very top. Go to our camera raw filter. 
and pump up the grain to about 75. That way this actually is working with the grain that's already there. You know, generally the higher you go, um, the better it'll be for, for kind of working with it. I'm gonna do a slight vignette, so like a negative 10. Hit okay and then go into overlay. And as you can see right here, that, that grain is actually working, uh, working with it. Although I think we can go a little bit stronger. Let's go all the way up to 100 and let's increase the roughness to about 75. Okay, that's much better, much better. All right, and one thing uh, too I might play around with. Let's see, let's go to stylize and oil paint. And let's see if, uh, let's see if cleaning up this will actually make it look a little bit better. Let's see. Play around with this a little bit. Usually usually 10 usually 10 10 0 0 is the best um, best results that I that I tend to get. So it gives it a little bit more of that texture there, but, uh, but uh, really what it's doing is it's, re it's removing a lot of the artifacts, as you can see right in, right in this area. It's just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. So we're giving it, um, oh, what, what's that lyric from that Soundgarden song? Clean it up with a dirty feel. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's kind of what we're doing. We're cleaning up and, and uh, it still has that dirty feel like the overlay um, on top of it. So um, anyway, so now what I'm gonna do, uh, this is really just kind of the last step. Um, is I'm gonna go in and do our Gaussian blurs on this to blend uh, to blend in that ink uh, with the paper itself. And I may actually go in and add a paper overlay, but we'll just kind of see how things go. So add a three right there, that looks good. And then for this one, for the header, we might wanna do something like a five, but we'll see what it looks like. Okay, three is actually looking pretty good, so I'm gonna keep it uh, like that. And we'll also wanna do same thing with the, the photo uh, holder. So probably, probably a five for that, just to make it blend a little bit easier. So as you can see right here, now it looks like it's actually part of the paper, like the ink is actually uh, bleeding into the paper itself, and we're also picking up on those textures. Um, what I might do here is I might go in and find a, a texture or some kind of a background that we can put on top of the black background to kind of bleed into it. And we'll do like vintage paper textures here. We'll just kind of take a look at these. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. You know, we can bring it in to Photoshop and desaturate it and then just put it directly above the black uh, background, which is actually, which is technically our white background. And then we'll just need to make sure that we desaturate so that that blue isn't showing. <clears throat> And the blue is showing because uh, we actually have that inverse layer. It's it's also affecting this paper. So let's go ahead and desaturate right here. And looks like we can invert there. And now I just wanna go in and see how we can affect the background layer. Still want it to be black, but I just want, there we go. Okay, that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Very, very subtle. So we've got vivid light going on and just so you just so you can kind of see it a little bit better may i may lighten it just a little bit there we go so you should be able to see some of the textures that are in there and we'll apply this just to uh that paper actually no we won't do that we'll just leave it alone <laughs> so uh so there it is there is our background uh, texture right there and our psychedelic uh, Stargazer Lily's poster, which, um, in my opinion, I was at the show. This perfectly captures it. I didn't have to do too much uh, to the uh, to the image that I found. But um, if you've never seen them live, I definitely highly recommend it. They were in, they were incredible. If you're a shoegaze fan, they are a must see live in person. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching me make that Stargazer Lily's concert poster. They were awesome live and they were very nice. Like I said, I got the signed CD, so that was really cool. Um, if you like this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.